You know, they say that uh, when you die and your whole life flashes before your eyes and you can't remember our wedding or our vows, that means you ain't dying, baby. Why renew our vows? Well, because maybe the second time will be the charm. I think they should be memorable. I think it's something that you should remember. I know I treasure my memories. I bet. Even though we have all our games and our scams and we have our fights, we always end up standing for each other in the end. Well, mostly. And I think that's worth commemorating. Uh, I think it's worth redoing those vows. Okay. Tracy, Angelica, Quartermain Spencer. You have transformed my life. Not just with the bank accounts and the mansion, the corporate jets. I mean, all that's nice, but none of that could keep me here with you if I didn't want to be. It's you, darling. It's you. Your humor, your intelligence, your feistiness, and your huge heart, which you always try to keep hidden. You make my life worthwhile. It's because of you that I give a damn. I love you with all my heart. My Spanky, my sweetheart, my wife. <laughs> Lucas Lorenzo Spencer. I have always taken great pride in being the difficult one, hard to handle, hard to please. You are the challenge of my life. You outdo me every time. You know me better than anyone. You know my heart. <laughs> you even know that it beats faster when you walk into a room. She's in Africa doing such good work, so I'm, I'm trying to manage. By finding a substitute. I mean, you have to get your much-needed female attention from somewhere, so why not an ex-girlfriend? You know what? I can't even believe you're joking about this. You know I love Robin. I never said that you didn't. But there is nothing more dangerous than a man who feels abandoned. All right, all right, okay. Hands off my date, bro. Sorry, don't let me spoil your fun. At that section, but okay. you better prepare yourself, because I'm going to do it. Hey, no. um, so, yeah. so <laughs> about tonight? Uh, actually, you were right, Patrick. I mean, maybe three, you know, it's a crowd for dinner, and there's no reason for you to go somewhere that you don't want to go to. So how about we all study the investment specs on our own, and yeah. Steve and I will go and grab dinner at the Tin Horn you know, without you. While you were breaking into Brooke's apartment, I managed to get the rest of the day off. Uh, what did you have to do to Kate? Hit her over the head and lock her in a closet? No, actually, Maxie and I convinced her that she needed to go to the Publishers Awards in Manhattan, so that leaves me with 18 hours of uninterrupted time. How about we do 17 hours? And then when I come back, I promise I'll touch every base. Mm. 
I got this uh, meeting with this lawyer. He represents clients with diminished capacity. So, I don't know, I'm gonna talk to him about Michael's appeal. I don't know if it'll help, but it's worth a shot, right? Michael is so lucky to have a brother that would move mountains for him. So you go to your meeting and I'll be here when you get back. All right. I guess I've seen a side of dad that you haven't. Because you grew up with him. Well, he still loves you. And it kills him what Kiefer did to you. And he hates the fact that you think he's even capable of being abusive. But I saw what dad did to Claudia, and so did you. <sighs> Maybe you can justify it because she got you shot. But it's harder to forgive abuse when you've been on the other end of someone's fist. Okay, you know, dad's not perfect. All right, he's not like other fathers, but he loves us. Are you never, ever, ever hurt you? Dad hurts people all the time. He has a terrible temper. And when he blows up and does something awful, it's always someone else's fault. And I'm not asking you to turn the other way. But maybe you can give Dad a break. He may surprise you, Christina. Can you just try with him? For me. Michael, if it wasn't for Dad, you wouldn't be here in prison. I saw Carly today, and I, I know the signs. She's got something she's working on, and I don't, I mean, can I... You just, Sonny, can you just give her just a little room? I mean, her first visit here was pretty traumatic. She could barely hold herself together after seeing Michael. And then she gets emotional and crazy, and, and then... then it, yeah, she acts out. I get uh, it, but she's doing the best she can, considering... Okay, I just, uh, right now, I don't, I don't need her being a loose cannon. I, 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 I know, I understand. All right. But she's not going to do anything that's going to make things worse for Michael. She blames me. She said it to my face that I was the worst choice that ever happened to Michael. Like I wanted this to happen, like I didn't do everything in my power to stop it. <laughs> 